So Microsoft released this new application today called Lobe. It, and basically it's to help br bring machine learning to lots of different people. And right now, uh, all it works with, it seems, I haven't explored it a lot, but it seems that it works only with computer vision. But at any rate, let's take a look and see how well this does. So, as you know, with machine learning, the first thing that you have to do is you have to take pictures and you have to apply labels to them. And then what will happen is later on you'll show it new pictures and it will try to predict which label applies to the new picture. So we need to import some pictures here so you can take picture. You can use pictures that you've already taken or you can use a webcam, which is what I'm going to do here. So I've got three objects. I have an Xbox controller. I have an eraser with a chunk taken out of it. And I have a bottle cap. These are just the items that happen to be sitting on my desk right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. I'm going to label this one Xbox Controller. All right. And now what I'm going to do, and this is going to be kind of awkward, because I'm going to have to do this with one, well, try it like this. All right, so here's the Xbox Controller. I'm going to take a picture of it. And then I'm going to take a picture of it from a slightly different perspective. And I'm going to keep doing this and doing this. And just get it from this side and get it from here and get it from here. We'll take 10 pictures, I guess. Okay, so there's 10 pictures of the Xbox controller. We'll put that to the side. Use it here in a minute. Okay, now we'll get the eraser. Okay. Go. Let's get that about the right place. So, one... All right, and finally, the bottle cap. Now, this one may be a little bit... Oh, and that's another thing. It starts to train the model, actually, as you're, actually, as you're working on As soon as you have more than one label with five images each. All right, so let's see, let's let focus. Okay, and let's go over here now to done. Go over here to training. Okay, so it's 100% of the images were predicted correctly. So it got all the bottle caps correct, and all the erasers correct, and all the Xbox controllers correct. All right, now we go over here to play. Now at this point, uh, what you could do is you could bring in the, you could bring more uh, images in, or we could just use the camera. And so it's going to start trying to predict anything. It's, it doesn't matter what's in the picture. It's going to try to predict one of those three labels. But let's take the Xbox controller. Looky there. As I turn it around. Now let's see what happens if we turn it from the back because we didn't take any pictures from the back. It still gets it. Now, now at that point it's having a little bit of trouble determining whether it's an Xbox controller or an eraser. Let's look at this. Yep, it's pretty sure that it's an eraser. And let's take the bottle cap. Now, what if I do something like, oh, I don't know, I've got, what have I got? A tape measure. What's it going to say? Yeah, but from this angle, it seems to more want to be bottle cap or eraser. So at any rate, uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, it's an interesting little uh, app that you can play around with. But um, one of the things that I like is that it emphasizes not the not the algorithms of machine learning, but it instead emphasizes the data collection process, which is actually what's kind of the most important thing. So give it a try, lobe.ai, and uh, try it yourself. See what happens.